The last drill I want to show you. So this is, well, not really a drill, but it's more of kind of part of my progression when I'm working on my swing. Before I really start taking full swings and letting it go, I kind of work on a control swing where I'm trying to really feel myself control the barrel all the way through my swing so I can feel that backside work underneath the front so I can feel that barrel staying behind the ear and working with that backside through contact. So what I do is I just kind of go three quarters, half speed three quarters and really try to feel myself stay strong with that top hand all the way, all the way through. Notice I'm not really releasing the barrel, I'm trying to control it all the way through contact. I can really feel that backside get through and feel myself stay strong in controlling that barrel. All right, so all those drills that we showed, <coughs> kind of get yourself in a little sequence. Certain, uh, try to do each drill, you know, eight to ten times. It doesn't need to be in that exact order. Play with what order you want. Maybe one day you want to really feel your your barrel turn. So you want to start with that split grip drill. Or you really want to feel your backside work under your front side. Start with the pole drill. Or if you're wanting to feel yourself, create your separation, you want to feel your feet, you want to feel your legs stay strong. Start with the separation and the hop back drill. There's no set order, it's all about feel. Feel yourself swing, do not try to see results. Because when you feel it, you're gonna repeat it. Let's say we don't have baseballs. Or your mom's not letting you hit baseballs. Use a whiff ball, use a tennis ball, or take a sock, take a pair of socks, roll them up, and use a pair of socks. Go down to the basement, go in the garage and hit socks. It doesn't matter what you're hitting as long as you're swinging.